Hello there, these are OLED displays and which are used to obviously display numbers, letters and images. Here is a new guy from DF Robot. This is the Fermion 1.5 inch transparent OLED display. Yes, it is transparent. In this video, we are going to see how to use this display with Arduino and also let's build a simple clock. So let's get started with this video. I bought this display from dfrobot.com. You can find the product link from my video description. So here it is. Let's unbox. You can see two packs. This is the converter module. And here is our display. As you can see, the display is fully transparent. This is an SSD 1309 driver based 1.5 inch 120H by 64 OLED display which is capable of displaying blue color pixels. So this is the converter module and which comes with two connections, GDI and SPI. You can find more details about this display from my site. Link is in the video description. Now let's connect the display to the converter. Here I am going to use the SPI communication. Now I place the converter on a breadboard. Then I place the DS3231 RTC module. Now let's connect the module to Arduino. First I connected the VCC of the converter to 3.3 volt of the Arduino. Then ground to ground, MOSI to pin 9, SCK to pin 10, CS to pin 12, DC to pin 11, reset to pin 13. Now let's connect the RTC module. First I connect to the VCC to 5 volt. Then ground to ground, SDA to A4, SCL to A5. This is the completed circuit connections. Now let's connect the Arduino to the computer using a USB cable and let's program. Here is the code. You can download this code from my website. In this code, first I added the libraries. Here I used Adafruit GFX libraries to drive the display. Then I defined the pins for SPA communication. Next I read the time and temperature using the RTC functions. And finally, I printed the values on display. Now let's upload the code. Now we can see the working of our transparent display clock, which shows time and temperature perfectly. We can build lots of projects with this display. Let's do that in the coming videos. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by like, share and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you with another video.